Welcome to this uh, MATLAB tutorial, MATLAB uh, session from the Computational Engineering Academy. I am Guate Loic Dimitri and I will be your, your lecturer throughout this course. Mm. So basically what we want to do in this course is to use MATLAB to be able to teach the computer how to do things for us. We want to be able to communicate with the computer. So this is MATLAB programming. MATLAB is one of those high level programming languages that enable us to do that. So um, in this course, we'll avoid a lot of, uh, should I say technicalities, or we'll avoid uh, speaking at length about things that are not really concerned with the course. Our focus is to actually equip you with the skills to be able to program effectively at the end of the day you who is an engineer or any reason why you want to learn my life you should be efficient to do what you want to do at the time that you want to do it so um, well, before our very face, we have uh, the interface. This is the MATLAB interface. We are using version 2014, but that should not disturb you, right? Because from 2014 upwards, many things are similar, especially with uh, the MATLAB programming that we are doing. It is similar all through, right? In the other courses that we will be proposing to you, maybe we will use higher versions that have better functionalities for given projects that we will be dealing in in other courses. I will be dealing with sorry in other courses okay so my approach uh, is generally not to spend time presenting things in a time where people may not understand so it will be no need for example coming here to the menu and telling you import data is for that run time this is for that so I prefer using all of these tools when they are necessary as we go along all you need to know for now in this introduction is to know that he up here is a ribbon interface it is a menu right we have home we have plots we have to do with anything that is graphical and we have apps for app developments etc and uh, yeah uh, toolboxes and uh, we have home where we will be most of the time this way we have the current folder it is a path to the current folder where we are working in okay and then the current folder details will appear right here we shall be seeing that um uh, here is the command window the command window is um, where the results of everything that we will be doing will be appearing and uh, this is also where we will be doing the tutorials for a beginning because in the beginning we are mostly doing a line by line uh, code execution to be able to explain some principles so it is in the command window after you've written code and etc that you actually see uh, the outcome of your of your code if you want to test it out you will get more details about that as we go along and uh, the workspace um, is a sort of um, detailed list of the variables that we will be creating as we are working along okay the variables that are uh, global that are um, available to us in the command window right so this is where these variables will appear with their corresponding values and their corresponding mean and max we will see what all that means and we have the command history down here which uh, simply is uh, a repertoire of all of the previous commands that we have entered in the command window so that we can have access to them uh, throughout time good so your own MATLAB may not appear like that, no matter the version you're using, it may not appear initially in this particular arrangement. What you should do in that case is to come to layout, right? And uh, you come here, you choose three columns, right? With the three columns, I think I should do that. With the three columns, this is what will appear. You will have the, the current folder this way, the command window this way, and the workspace this way. Now we need to add the command history. So for that, you see, go to the same layout and uh, you just dock, okay? You dock your command history right here and it will appear here. If it doesn't appear here, you can always move it, okay? to appear to where you want it to be. So if it appears something like that, just move the window and uh, make it, put it down, right? Good. So um, 
this is just a presentation of the interface this uh, uh tutorial will be awesome it will be awesome we will enter into a lot of examples a lot of practical programming that will give you all of the tools that you need to be able to be efficient and understand matlab and even understand programming as a whole so um stay tuned and uh, see you in the next lesson